Big crowd gathering at Brian Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, where the Tide comes in undefeated, 7-0-1, 4-0-1 in the SEC against LSU. And the Tigers somehow have to find a way to win this one here today. It's 46 now, but it's supposed to get down into the lower 40s during game time. But it is sunny and clear in Tuscaloosa. A breeze is blowing. In fact, one LSU observer joked before the game that our best play is kickoff return. We'll have a look. Alabama won the toss and defers. LSU will receive it. There's Eddie Kennison, the freshman wide receiver who's been outstanding. David Butler, who plays back there with him, is pretty dangerous as well. And the Tide will avoid kicking the ball in the air. Eddie Kennison has it. And he will get out over the 30-yard line to about the 34. And there's Jamie Howard, the sophomore out of Lafayette. Ray, the motion man. The deep pitch to Jay Johnson. Alabama all over it on the corner. For LSU, Jamie Howard in the backfield, surrounded by Robert Toomer and Jay Johnson, who had 104 yards on the ground last week. Brett Besh, a steady receiver. Wilson, a flanker. And, of course, Harold Bishop, the tight end. Up front, they are a veteran group led by Kevin Mawai, the three-time All-SEC. Ronnie Simnick is the other senior, along with Ross Setters up front. Bordelon, a redshirt freshman. Loss of three on the play. Look out from behind. Power taken down by Jeremy Nunley. Number 73 up front with Gregory and Jeffries in that 34 defense. It gives their linebackers a lot of chances to make tackles. Brown and Hall on the flanks. Rogers, Walters in the middle. Need we say more about this secondary? Antonio Langham with seven interceptions. Tim, you don't like to be third 23 against these guys. On your own 20, this is not the way you want to start the game. Whistle. Dead Free ball, safety. Delay. Offense. Replay. We'll play a third down. Five receivers on third and 28. Chris Hill, the motion man. Howard sits in there with time and hits him on. Not too much there. Lomansky Hall put a big hit on to David Palmer. Bama should come out of this with great field position. A short spiral. Palmer can't catch it because it's too short. And the ball will roll dead at the Alabama 47. Five talent. He can run with the football, and he likes to throw it, actually, I think, more than Barker does. Palmer in motion. And again to Sherman Williams. He's outside over midfield. And he'll be down near the LSU 45. Lynch, the fullback. Sherman Williams, a tailback. Need we say more about David Palmer? 162 yards a game all purpose. Up front, they are experienced. Dennis Deason steps in a right guard. John Stevenson hurt his knee against Tennessee. Second down and three for Alabama. Darren Lynch in motion. And the pitch to the deep man. And Brian Steger is met. In a hurry, LSU playing that 43 defense, Northern and White, with Pullet and Crowell in the middle. Des Hotel, Calais and Washington, the backers. Rodney Young, Ivory Hilliard, nephew of Dalton Hilliard, who made that last play. Tim, that last play, something people haven't seen much from the LSU defense this year. Third down and four. Bergdorf out to the left side. That'll be good for a first down. And down the far sideline is Brian Steger. Brian Steger, a true freshman out of New Market, Alabama. First man through the pullback, Taryn Lynch. He'll get over the 25 yard last year. Right. Primary responsibility is to knock somebody down. He got four on first down, second and six, Steger. And he was met straight on. Third down and five for the time. Backs are split. He fakes to both of them, and Bergdorf is sacked. Anthony Marshall, the free safety. The Michael Proctor on for the field goal attempt. He's made eight straight. And that one hits the upright. A 45-yard attempt that had plenty of distance. Ball at the Tiger 28-yard line, their second possession. We're five and a half minutes into the first quarter. Number 36 is Robert Toomer. Toomer a better runner. 
two tight ends. They're trying to get something going on the ground. Bishop and LaFleur. Kennison, the motion man. They come left side with the same man. And meeting him head on was Michael Roger. Morris and Walters on the other side, both of them playing well now, though. Third down and nine. Second time they've had third and long. Howard steps up, sees some running room. He gets by Lemansky Hall over the 35-yard line, who waited for him to sort of explode in the punt return department this year. Wobbly spiral in traffic. Palmer has it at the 35. And they're taking one game at a time. First down as Bergdorf rolls right side. David Palmer. Second down and three. They can do a lot of things with this situation. A draw play to Terry Lynch. And he'll be out to almost midfield. That'll be Johnson and Hake tight ends in there. On third and one, Bergdorf will keep it. And he'll follow John Clay, his left guard. The marker is a competitor and a field general. These guys are more like artillery commanders. They can throw it. Bergdorf up the middle. Just beyond the reach of Kevin Lee. Marker, in talking to the Alabama people, called all but two plays in that drive. On second and ten, off to the left side, Kevin Lee again. Third down and three at the LSU 42. Single back set, Terrett Lynch behind Bergdorf. Here they come, and the ball is picked down. Pick that one off. Right. Leo will about to be greedy. Brian Deal angling for the coffin corner, picked up by Kennison inside his own 10, and then he'll get out bounds. Ten minutes into the game, no score. Tigers take over at their own 15. Hill, the motion man. Howard rolling that way. And the ball was back in the middle for Scott Ray. He Offense averaging 121 yards on the ground, 183 through the air per game. And weaving his way through there is Jay Johnson. And I don't think we'll see Jermaine down in this territory much. He's been dropping the ball a bit this year, and you may not see him until they get across midfield. I would concur. Here comes Will Brown! And David Howard is sacked. He might get an intentional grounding. Good snap. Got it away. Palmer will catch it. No, he'll let it go. Ball spiraled straight down into the turf on him. That possession by LSU, by the way, all of 56 seconds. First down at the 44. Palmer on the reverse. Got away from one man. Then he got into traffic. A very important two-point conversion for them when they were playing Tennessee. Well, here we go. That's a kind of interesting look there. Steger on the pitch. To the right. Very interesting look. Third down and 10. Backs are split. Bergdorf up top right side. Well beyond Palmer who drew double coverage. There's Brian Deal again. This one will hit at the four and go on in. Oops. David Howard staging a sit-in. Two tight ends for the Bayou Bengals on second and 15. Out to the near sideline. And that one is too tall. Five wide receivers on third and 15. Howard steps up. And he's got it over the 30-yard line. First down at the 31. The initial first down of the day for LSU. Here's Kennison around with the reverse. He hurdles a man, Sam Shade, and he'll go out of bounds. Got plenty of time, nobody open. He'll get flushed out to the right side. He'll have close to first down yardage before Sam Shade explodes into him on the far sideline. They take a victory for granted. You gotta go out and fight for every one of them. Kennison, the motion man, he'll take the pitch. He will fake the reverse and keep to the far side. Antonio Langham, final 35 seconds now in the first quarter. He gives to Johnson, who almost ran into his quarterback, and he squirts across midfield. Well, that's it for the first quarter. LSU defense played great. Now their offense has put together a bit of a drive. No score. Are you surprised? We are after one quarter in Tuscaloosa. 
Third down and one for the Tigers. At the Bama 49. Howard gives it off. That's a first down as Robert Toomer goes blasting through there. Creates the hole. And I shoot third first down of this series. Howard looking out to the left side. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Guess who that is? The best defensive back I've seen since I've been doing this for 12 years. Second down and 16. And that one batted down by Mario Morris. That's the football news defensive player of the year. Third down and 16. Howard hit from behind. Jeremy Nunley got his arm. The arm was headed forward. And here, now he's making Buffalo wings. <laughs> Look at this boomer by Holstein. It'll hit a yard into the end zone and go on in for the latest scores in college football. On first down, Chris Anderson. Three wide receivers for the tie on second down. Bergdorf to Anderson again. And a big bear hug. Tide has a couple of tight ends in there. Bergdorf for Anderson. And if he made the first down, he didn't make it by much. We'll have to see where they mark his progress. Those Tigers off the line. And here's a booming kick. Brian Deal sends his man, Pennison, back to the 20. Eddie looking for some daylight. And he'll finally get about seven yards out to the right sideline. But they seem to have found some answers. Tigers in the eye. Play action by Howard. He'll step up, elude some traffic. Then a throw to the far sideline. Sam Shade with great coverage. A couple of wide receivers out to the right side. Howard will pitch to the tailback, Jay Johnson. They'll get a couple of yards out to the left side. A successful outing for LSU on the ground. Third down and eight. Howard with time. And he misses connections there with Scott Ray. Palmer, back at his 38. Bama should get good field position here. A high, beautiful, tight spiral. Back to the 25 and a fair catch by Palmer. Thought Michael Rogers also a bit banged up, but they expect him to come back, the Alabama linebacker. And the LSU defense puts pressure on Bergdorf. Second down and nine. Bergdorf with time. Pretty good grab by Anderson. He's used to playing the role of the underdog. Three wide receivers on third down and eight. Nobody open. Bergdorf shovels for Palmer. I guess that's your basic safety valve play. Blocks all over the place, but Palmer can't wiggle loose. Ivory Hilliards. Bang! A big block on Deschotel and a couple other big blocks, but LSU surrounds him and puts him away. Dennison receiving a great kick. There's a clip. You're running down the field. Block, in the back, on the run back, for half the distance, and the spot of foul, first and ten. And I think he wants to get Jamie Howard a, a little breather, let him look at the game from the sideline for a moment. There's a big hole for Robert Toomer. Cooper play action, out to the right side. Ooh, that was dangerous. They had a record of 22 straight back in the late 80s. Toomer again with another huge hole. And he'll be out for about nine yards. Kevin Mawai back in there on third down and one for LSU. Loop to the deep man. Forget it. Toomer on the carry. Holstein sixth punt coming up. Jefferson Pilot MVP Delay. awards today. Five yards, to a couple of kicks. special teams. And when something doesn't go well, it's really irritating for them. Holstein hits a high one. Palmer fair catch at the 38. They had the ball on LSU side of the 50 three times in the first quarter. Couldn't get anything on the board. Bergdorf, and forget it. Steger stopped cold. No gain. Second down and 10. Bergdorf with time. Straight ahead. And he's got his man, Chad Key. Ball is dropped. And LSU has it. Yes, they do. Torrey James. 22 yards on the play. But the Tigers have it back. And 
sort of feeling his way back there was Jermaine Williams, who backs up Toomer at fullback. Regular set like you have now, just giving them as many different looks as they can. Second down and five. Nothing much in there for David Butler. Just about the rest of the first half. Loop will option left and keep it. And he appears to have the first down. Andre LaFleur has kicked a 49-yarder this year, so he's got some range. First down at the 48. Play action. Straight ahead, and the ball is caught by Scott Ray down inside the Bama 40. The ball. First down at the 34. Quick give into the belly of the fullback, Jermaine Williams. And as the ball carrier was taken down. Face pass. Incidental, five yards, been to the run. First down. As, a, as an assistant to Tom Landry, and just a fine guy. And he's really done a wonderful job here out there. Luke with time. Up top in the end zone, and it's out of bounds. They've done it 16 times this year. Second down and four. Fighting off one hit was Butler. And he gets away from a couple of more guys. Third down and seven. LSU is within field goal range. Luke fights off a sack. They may not be in field goal range now. Will Brown out there to make a big play. Punt of the day. They're coming. He got it away. Wobbles one down inside the 10, and it'll stop there. And LSU will down the ball defensively and be ready for the ball to come up over the top. I'll give it to Lynch, the fullback. On the next play, he hits a 77-yard bomb. Yeah, but you know why he did that? It was his former high school teammate, Todrick Malone, he threw that to. The things going around, around college football today. Bergdorf with play action. And sacking him back there is Gabe Northern. <laughs> and Alabama with LSU. School is here in Tuscaloosa. It's a uh, score that will be announced at stadiums around the country and send some uh, murmurs of interest. The Alabama Crimson Tide and LSU back with our halftime activities from Brian Denny Stadium in just a moment. And LSU will kick it off in the second half. And the ball is taken at the 10-yard line. And not much done with it there. Chris Anderson out over the 25. Lear Palmer to try to get a little crack in the ice here. Palmer the motion man. Bergdorf looks out to the left flank for David. He got a block and cut inside. And he's up over the 30-yard line. Steger, the lone back. He'll take the handoff and angle to the right side and forget it. Great job by LSU to the ball. Yeah, first down and 10 yards to swallow the foul. Bergdorf shows it to the tailback and then throws it. Oh, almost intercepted. Corey James. Big, big play. Second down and 20. Bergdorf with time. Karen Lynch, the fullback, with a straight-ahead throw. Right. Expressionless. <laughs> Third down and 14. Bergdorf. Lots of time, but flushed. Now he escapes to the right side. On the sideline, it's intercepted. Anthony Marshall with the pick. His third of the year. You can see Marshall closing, and it's a big play by Anthony Marshall. Robert Toomer on first down. I think now they think they can win. And that's what you don't want to let happen to you if you're a, if you're a favorite team. Luke to Toomer again. More yardage on the left side. And he'll crash it down to the 15. LSU's work back the weak side. deepest penetration of the day. Toomer wrapped up by Lomansky Hall. Second down and 10 for LSU. And 
the ball is caught inside the 10. Chris Hill crashing down to the five. First and goal from the four and a half. Couple of tight ends in there. The pitch to Tuber. There's a flag on the play as he gets down to the two. Offsides on the defense. Chris split. Nobody out wide. And Luke gives it off to the first man, and that's a touchdown. Jay Johnson into the end zone. Johnson. That's his fourth touchdown run of the year, and LSU is the first team off the board. Ben Bordelon. Andre LaFleur, perfect with the extra point. And the LSU Tigers surprising Bama by holding them scoreless, and now they've scored themselves. Jay Johnson is one of them. That was only the ninth time all year that a team has been inside the Alabama 20. There's Steger back inside his own five. Over the 20, takes a hard hit, still on his feet, out to the 27-yard line. Number nine quarterback in the nation, he was rated last year. He is a true freshman, Tim, though 6'3", 200. Off to Steven. Nothing much there. Sometime during this drive. Father bottom of his feet in motion. Kitchen with time. Flushed out. And tripped up from behind. Great pursuit there. As you play very confidently on defense. Third down and seven. Yeah, a little look in. And the ball was batted down here. Ryan Deals had a good day kicking the ball. He will keep it. This will be a first down. He's over midfield. And he's got a chance to score. But they take him down from behind at the 27-yard line. He had a screen set up. This looked like a called plan play. Karen Lynch on the field. Finger. Second down and 10. Kitchen flushed out by Hilliard and sacked by Hilliard. Corey White with some help. The receivers into the right route. That's where they miss Jay Barker right now. LSU seven sacks all year coming into this game. Three today. Kitchen intercepted by Ivory Hilliard. He'll cut it outside. He'll pitch the ball. It is Corey James. There's a flag on the play, but LSU has the football back. First down at the 37 of Alabama. Here's an end around. Tennyson breaks a tackle. And that play is going to lose about five yards. Now they've got it right. It's first and 20 at the 48 of Alabama. Breaks the line of scrimmage cleanly. He'll get outside of the 35. He's got a first down. They'll call the next one. First down at the 16. Robert Tuber gets outside. And he crashes down to about the seven. He's back in Georgia. Second down and the one at the six. Tuber again. Second effort will get him the first down yardage. They double up on first downs. This first and goal. Tumor cuts it up. And he'll get a yard and a half. This exhibition this afternoon. Second and goal from the three. Tumor straight ahead. And he will crack it down. Touchdown! The legs never stop churning. And the surge got him into the end zone. And LSU has another score. It never quit working. What a big, big play. Andre LaFleur's extra point almost blocked, but he got it through. And it's unbelievable in Tuscaloosa. 438 third quarter. LSU by two TDs. Railroad into the end zone. Unbelievable play. LSU leads by two touchdowns. Palmer at his five. Straight ahead. And 
wrapped up from behind. But they've kept Bama out of the big play except for the punt return, or excuse me, the fake punt. Now let's see what they do. Kitchens up top, left side, too tall for Palmer. And coming after the Ivory Hilliard interception with 6.57 to go, third quarter. Kitchens, too tall. Hilliard's got another one. Inside the 30. Pitches it. And down inside the 5. Anthony Marshall ends up with the football as Ivory Hilliard picks off his second of this quarter. Alabama does get a break. Flags on the play. And instead of first and goal, the ball will be way back there at about the Bama 42-yard line. 41-yard line is where they call a spot. Toomer, they finally stopped it. 335 to go, third quarter. A fake to Jay Johnson. Loop out to the right side. Ball caught by Harold Bishop. I see Chris Donnelly out there. He's been hurt, hasn't played the last couple of games. Third down and eight. And across the middle, ball low and incomplete. Here they come. But he gets it away. He will fly this one toward the corner. Now, did it get out of bounds before it got the end zone? Kevin Lee, receiver, for the bruised shoulder. David Palmer now at quarterback, Bob. Why not? Bill option right. He will throw. And it's off the hands. The game is out of hand. It's kind of fun. Second down and 10. Palmer faking a throw. He goes up top. Malone's got it. 33-yard line. David Palmer is just an unbelievable impact player. He hands it off. Busting through there is Torres Turner. Eight, the tight end motioning. Option right for Palmer. And he was actually tripped up by the shoulder pad of Terrence Lynch. Second down and seven. Lynch the carry. And he will get inside the 10. An outstanding 34 out of 40. 19 touchdowns, 15 field goals. Dead ball, any procedure, offense, give me a third down. Here this afternoon, just one behind Ozzie Newsom's Alabama record. Palmer will look left, nobody to shovel it to. He escapes outside, he's got a first down. And a flag on the play. With the long pass, first and goal at the three for Bama. Stop Cole. The third quarter comes to a close with that great LSU defensive play. Alabama trying to score when the fourth quarter commences. Palmer, the quarterback. Turner and Steger with him in the backfield. He hands it off. The ball was fumbled. It appears Bama has it back. Third and goal. will roll right he's in trouble dumps it off and it is caught for a touchdown Terrence Lynch but there's a flag on the play Michael Proctor for the point after his 25th consecutive this year Alabama finally on the scoreboard after 45 minutes to the tide finally in the end zone and we've got some ball game at Bama today. Michael Proctor to kick it. Eddie Kennison at the two. Cuts it to the near side. He's in trouble. What a play by Mickey Kahn. LSU at its own nine. Luke to Johnson. Maybe a yard. Like Damian Jeffries. Heading back the way you expect the national championship team to play. Defense, five yards. 
Previous spot, he'll be second down. Nothing there at all for Jermaine Williams. LSU really needs to keep the football here. Luke with a deep drop. Left side, underthrown. Jay Johnson, the intended receiver. Scott Holstein's had a great day kicking. And he hangs this one up high. Fair catch at midfield. Because Alabama has the football down by seven. Makes a pitch. Rolling left. He will keep it. He's inside the 40. But I'll tell you one thing, folks. There is a holding call on that play. <laughs> Palmer with time. And Todrick Malone couldn't get down low enough to 11.57 in the game. Single back set. Palmer looks left. Nothing there. Flushed out right. Cuts it up. And it'll be out to about the 43-yard line. Distance of the first down on third and 16. Inside the 40, that is Kevin Lee. See, Shaking off an injury here today to make that play. Here's Palmer improvising. And he'll get down to about the 30th. Eight of seven, second down and three. Palmer wants to look left this time. He's got it. It is Todrick Malone again. It's going for 3,000 yards. You know about he gets two for 62 today. Palmer's in trouble. And Ivory Hilliard on a safety blitz got him. Second and 22. Palmer off the wall. That one is picked off. Rodney Young. And he will go up the near sideline, the far sideline, and out of bounds. And the Bama drive is over. Alabama's fifth turnover of the day. LSU has taken care of the ball flawlessly. That loop for Jay Johnson. He's loose. And over the 40-yard line, still on his feet to the 43. But no timeouts left, right? Yes, sir. But they're never dead. Second and one. Toomer. And that's a first down. I have to be proud of the way these Tigers have displayed their wares here in Tuscaloosa. Play action by Luke. And the ball is caught. Scott Ray on the receiving end. Led the Tigers in running back in 69 with about 591 yards. Here's Jay Johnson. And he'll get just a couple off the left side. His interception mark he's trying to set. Second down and seven. And Johnson cracking off the right side. Third down and four. Robert Davis is into the game. He's the motion man. Luke couldn't pitch it that way. He's got an opening. And he's down inside the 30. And that will be another LSU first down. First down. At the Bama 26. Tumor. Damian Jeffries wraps him up after a couple. The alumni as loyal as LSU. <laughs> they right. travel to Hawaii for the game. They travel to Spain for the game. Jay Johnson on second and seven. Hook. Ray the motion man. Luke looking right side. Has a man open. Didn't throw it to him. And then the pass was batted down. Robert Toomer was out there drifting. Big field goal attempt here. Andre LaFleur, 11 of 13 this year. This will be a 36-yarder from the left hash. He has it right down the middle. And LSU with 422 to go leads it 17-7. The tie needs two scores when we come back. Of SEC football. And who does it the way the Bayou Bengals, the underdogs, are battling the Crimson Tide here today. There's Steger on the return for the Tide, fighting his way. Huge upset. 
Brewing here in Tuscaloosa. Palmer with time. He'll flush out and angle for the near side. He'll cut inside and get down to the 44. Ramble. Not that they could catch him anyway. <laughs> Contained that catch. First down at the 43. Palmer escapes to the 35. Inside the 30. Yeah, they get the ball to him a lot, but this is uh, this is amazing. Almost caught after the tip. Chad Key, the intended receiver, tied down by 10, 3-11 to go. Four wide receivers on second and 10. Tigers were inching all over that line of scrimmage. Dead ball, full start, offense, five yards. It'll be a third down. And David Palmer quarterbacking Bama here on second and 15. Blitz is on, out to Key, and the Tigers will contain him. Yep. Alabama with only one timeout left. Third down, eight. Palmer up top, left side. That's a touchdown! Kevin Lee! It's his first touchdown of the season. So this to make it 17-15. Palmer went right side to get two against Tennessee. He'll go the same way. But he won't make it. And now Alabama will need a touchdown to win. The idea is to get one big hop like that. It's there at three. LSU has it. Hey, first touching, we'll put the ball in play. It's a point of first touching. First and ten. Yep. Chad loop to Robert Toomer. Damian Jeffries in on the stop under Bear Bryant earlier in his career. Second down and nine. Jay Johnson with big yardage. You try to get your team ready to play every week. And there are going to be days where when emotionally they don't show up. And you just this team, if they pull it off today, has a chance to end up in a bowl game. Johnson on the pitch and he's inside the 30 pulling this LSU's team together emotionally Luke to Johnson straight ahead and the Tigers are going to have the big upset and they'll have a record of four and five three and four in the SEC the coach has been doused a couple of weeks ago some thought the coaching career of Curly Holman at LSU had been doused. But consecutive wins at home over Ole Miss and here in Alabama, and Curly is in great shape now. Gene Stallings' 31-game Alabama unbeaten string has come to a close. Unbelievable win for LSU. As difficult as it would be for him, there is no one that's happier for Curly Hallman than Gene Stallings. Well deserved. They can party all night long. And we'll be back to Tuscaloosa after this from your local SEC station. <laughs> 